Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. Now we'll continue talking about the quant surveying work in CMS and we'll start in step 1.4 which is the finishing work. Actually the finishing work in CMS has a huge part of calculation. Normally in all the construction building the finishing work have the most quantity and the most value of the project. That's why we have more work here in the finishing work but you will enjoy using CMS in the finishing work quantity survey as you will see now when you open the finishing work page you will find CMS divide all the finishing work for internal finishing which is the civil work finishing in inside the building external finishing which is the civil finishing work outside the building partitions work waterproofing work handrails cabinets work like like wardrobe or kitchen cabinets and landscape and we'll talk now about one by one let's start with the internal finishing that's the page of QS of internal finishing what we have in internal finishing we have walls floorings skirting and borders and ceiling four locations of finishing the walls finishing flooring finishing skirting or borders finishing and the ceiling finishing let's talk about one by one in the walls we have the background of the wall which is the plastering either it is a normal plaster or shoot plaster which using the machine or special type of plaster like a chemical plaster or barium plaster which are using in the uh, special location especially in the hospitals or all the medical uh, or or in the medical location or the special industrial location so we have this types of the background we have also for the for the walls tile you can also cover that the walls with tiles in the tiles you will add here you will add here all the types of the tiles either ceramic or porcelain or whatever plus marble tile you will add here also all the marble types required for the project's walls also for the walls we have the fine finishing which is the paints you will insert here also all the type of the paints required in your project that's the first steps to insert all the types of the finishing according to your project specification we talk about the walls the floorings are the same the floorings here will add it direct all the floor tiles the floor marbles and also the flooring with the fine finishings what the meaning of fine finishing like epoxy epoxy coating carpets rubber wood any kind of finishings not required a uh, rough civil work the same for the skirting also we'll add here all the tiles and the marble and the fine finishing either paint or epoxy or rubber or whatever finally the ceiling ceiling also must have a background this background either it is a plaster or shoot plaster with the machine as the same or can be direct base course paint only on the slab bottom so first we'll add the background then we'll go for the full ceiling all this types of full ceiling you will insert all the types of the full ceiling relate according to your project specification then you'll insert all the paints required in the in the project specification there is a note here last type of paint it is an anti-fungus this must be anti-fungus don't change it also for the floors we have here a fair face at the last point also don't change anything else you can change and insert according to your project specification so first step now is to insert the finishing type for walls floors skirting and seal let's go for second step whatever you will insert here we will choose it later Step two, choose the finishing type for each space. 
we'll find here 45 types of finishing each one have almost 36 location of finishing and you can jump in each type by this way from this buttons for your easy movement so let's explain what's the type and what you will insert here what you have here in this screen let's start first with this legend which you have to insert all the type of finishing here so here we have to insert the type of finishing if you go for your plan you will find each room have type of finishing if we talk about the living room we'll find this finishing type is t1 what the meaning of t1 you will check in your schedule what is t1 that's t1 which is related to the typical floor t1 for the sitting and the bedrooms t1 have f1 w1 c1 s1 what the what the meaning of this that means finishing type or location of t1 which is sitting room and bedrooms have floor f2 wall w1 ceiling c4 and s s2 what the meaning of these codes will check in the finishing schedule which is here you can easily find all the type all the code types so if we are talking about f2 that means a ceramic tile by the way that's all the type of the floor finishing in the project that means you have to enter all these in the floor finishing as we mentioned before and here we have to choose from which we inserted before so if we're talking about the bedrooms and the, and the setting we will insert all the finishing type for this location so here you can insert the location for your easy reference here you will insert all the finishing of the wall what is the background of the wall what is the paint of the wall what is the type of the flooring which is f1 f1 is the in case of rough finishing f2 in case of fine finishing and fair face in case a fair face here is the skirting you have to choose the skirting here is the ceiling the first ceiling is the background of the ceiling ceiling 2 is the false ceiling and the ceiling paint is the paint of the ceiling and inside the false ceiling which is the anti fungus that's why we informed before don't change the anti fungus from the table so how we'll choose this now according to our drawing you have to insert what the type of the ceramic so we have here for the flooring we are talking about the flooring which is f2 in this location we have to choose the ceramic tiles that's what we have let's choose ceramic tile like this we don't have another flooring this area not have fine flooring which is what which we have here like a rubber like uh, wooden like carpets we don't have also this area not fair face but if it's a fair face we just choose fair face or not if it's considered as a fair face all this area could be considered as a fair face concrete but it is not happening what's the type of the walls let's check again the drawings it is w1 so let's see what about w1 it is an emulsion paint three coat so it is an emulsion paint so it is here we already choose an emulsion paint from the from this table but of course the emulsion paint must have a background of a plaster you can choose either, either it will be a normal plaster or a, a shoot plaster you can choose according to your specification if it's not clear in the specification you can choose a normal plaster and later you can decide when you are, when you start work in the cost estimation to find which is better for you from cost wise and productivity wise as we'll see the same we'll do in the skirting we'll find in the drawing uh, what about the skirting what the type of the skirting mentioned there it is a ceramic as uh, is true also about the ceiling c4 we'll just choose c4 which is emulsion paint so emulsion paint that means it is also have a background but it is not a false ceiling 
that means will go for the emulsion bed but it does not have a full ceiling but it must have a background this background either it is a plaster or should plaster or base course this also according to the specification in the project you will choose what kind of background of the of the paint for the seat now you identify and choose all the require all the type of the finishing for these areas what's balance now the balance now is to, is to insert the areas itself how to insert the area which have the same type of finishing that's the mandatory condition all the areas you will insert here must have 100% typicality in the finishing type according to the drawing all the areas or all spaces have T1 finishing but can be insert, inserted in this table we'll take an example how to insert the dimension of the finishing in CMS you have two choice either to insert the normal space dimension length and width like a normal room that's in case if the room is an order dimension have a length and width like this length and width it can be easily inserted by length and width by this way take the length 370 by 360 so let's insert insert here we'll tell about bedroom one can also enter the floor if if it's a special floor or it is not repeated or you can insert the location according to your uh, drawing for your reference keep the, the repetition now as one we can insert now the length and width which is 3.7 and 3.6 what we'll see we see now here new two numbers came first number is the area second number is the parameter now let's modify the height we find here a reference for the height which is which is calculated by CMS before according to the height of the slab as we inserted before in the columns you can change and modify according to your actual wall just CMS is is considered that it will be the same because the uh, CMS considered the height and the levels which were inserted before in the columns sheet. As you mentioned here, the height is an internal finishing height. This height value is a guide and able to be divided according to your project. That's H1. What about H2? H2 is a fall ceiling height in case if your room or your space have a fall ceiling. In our case, we don't have so the same, so the both must have the same height. What else we have in this room? We have the opening. We have a door and window. We have door called WD2 and the window called W2. So we'll go here and search for WD2, which is this, and aluminium window, which is W2. We just insert now the code of the opening. If you have another extra opening not mentioned in the codes, you can add it here direct. And this opening must be above one meter because according to the QS standards, which is Bumi, Bumi telling that areas below one meter is not considered as a cutting from the spaces. So what we inserted here now for the ordered room, which, which have a clear width and length and width, we insert the location if there is no repetition we'll keep it as one we'll insert the length and width the height or to confirm the height and we'll insert the opening inside this room CMS will calculate clearly the required wall finishing background either plaster or whatever and fine finishing which is the paint CMS will calculate the flooring area the skirting quantity and the ceiling finishing including the background and the fine finishing which is the paint type this room is repeated how many times here three so we have three have the same dimensions you can also of course we can check these three are repeated for 15 times 
which is the typical numbers of the floors of our building that means this room or this space repeated for a 45 times as you saw the quantities of the all the quantities are changed according to the new quantities type in case the rooms or the space have an L shape so we add these two columns to just insert the cutting location which is related to the L shape like this L shape for the living so we can consider here the living say it is living one we'll insert the main length and the width which is this and this 860 by 380 and the other dimension which it will be cut from this space which is 360 by 255 that means now we have a four dimensions required to be added 860 by 380 and the cutting 360 times and 255 according to this same is calculated the area and the cut this space from this holy space what else we have we have these three doors wd1 wd2 wd3 uh, according to the door schedules and this balcony door which, which is gd4 so we have to identify all these spaces or all this opening inside cms which is related to this living room so we have to insert here wd1 and w and wd2 and wd3 as a timber opening as we inform it is there are the doors of the doors inside this space and gd for which is a, which is a sliding door for the balcony same is now is cut it all these areas from the walls and the skirting also we can check this space is repeated how many times we can find here one two three and four so we we'll consider this four times for each floor we have a 15 floor so this is space is repeated for 60 times can it see the changing which is happening here in this quantities and reflected here in the total quantity whatever you will add for each type of finishing it will be divided and calculated for the ceiling and the skirting and the flooring and you will find all the quantity for each type of the finishing will be changed according to your addition in the project now we already talked about in case if the room is ordered length and width and in case of the room or the space have l shape room the balance now in case the, of in case of the space have an unordered dimension like this room which not have an ordered dimension so by very easy way we will draw a polyline like this order of pl and we'll start to draw the polyline around all the internal wall like this way then click for this polyline and write list he'll give you the area and the lens the area inside this the area inside this polyline which is the area of the room and the lens of this of this polyline which is the perimeter of the room these two numbers will be inserted direct in the area and the parameter like this if cms ask you for a 
password we'll just write cms in our case or capital letter then you will enter also the type of the opening and the repetition according to the drawing the method of the polyline it can be used also in the ordered dimension or in l shape space and of course in case of unordered dimension so the method of the polyline and inserting direct the area and the parameter is the common way or the or the comprehensive way to get the area and the parameter for for every space the same we will do for each type of finishing you have here all these types any kind of finishing in your project any kind of space finishing in your project you can you can add it here separately in each table like this so each screen like this or each two tables like this one for identifying all the specified finishing and the other two identifying or to inserting all the dimension and the locations for each sharing the same finishing types we we'll go for another another type of finishing like the bathroom you will choose the you will choose the wall tiles if this wall tile will fix on plaster you have to add here a plaster okay and you'll choose the flooring and the skirting if there is a border there for this uh, uh, tiles of course in case of the wall uh, wall tiling there is no skirting but can be a border but you will consider a, as a skirting and also in case in the ceiling it will be if it's as a full ceiling you will insert the full ceiling type maybe there is a plaster or not maybe there is a paint or not you will add if it's there and if there is an antifungus inside the ceiling you will add it and you will insert the location and the repetition and the spaces as same as the way we add it for all the rooms the same we will do for each type of finishing through all the projects at the end you will find you will find CMS calculated for you all the type of finishing inside your project either it is wall or flooring or skirting or ceiling with all the types that was the way how to CMS will calculate for you the finishing the civil work finishing for your project we already finished the internal finishing as a part of the internal finishing is the partitions work what is the partitions work normally when working in the, the construction we need to we need to construct partitions we have some kind of partitions in the construction not only as a uh, block work or a concrete work there is some partitions like a gypsum board or like a wooden or, or glass partition or whatever so CMS make a portion for this kind of partitions so when you click in partition work CMS will direct us for this page for the partitions we'll find here this first button as the same before at the same for other pages this for jumping through the CMS pages and this buttons to jump through the partitions type here we'll find all the types of the partitions you have to insert according to your project specification for here in this location we'll find here the steps you have to follow to to insert all the partitions requirement first step to insert the partition types here in this location all this required to be filled by the partitions specification or partitions types according to the according to your project specification either it is a wood a gypsum a glazed stone or whatever any type of the partition required in your in your uh, project according to the specification you have to insert it here after this to choose the finishing type for each space course not all the space have the same types of the of partition so according to the partition located in specified area you have to choose which type of partition to start to insert here as a wall partition type then insert the location and the quantities for same type of the partitions here in each table we have here more tables for each type for all that for all the locations or for all the partitions sharing in the same type of partition you can add it here in one table so accordingly you will insert the size the length and the height for each partition plus the opening inside this partition 
for example if we have a partition inside the bathroom there is a glass partition you will insert only the length of this partition and the height according to the project section and you will add it one by one you will take the dimension from the drawing directly and you will add it one by one here you will insert the length and the height and in case of any opening in this type of partition you can add it here the same you will do for everything if suppose if you have a wooden partition in any any location you will add only the length and modify the height this height also same is considered according to the levels which entered before in the uh, columns but of course you can modify according to your area or according to your partition height you can change it one by one and you will enter also the opening there related to this partition as the NCMS will calculate for you all the partitions area according to the types you already inserted there this was also part of the internal finishing work we finished already the internal finishing and partition work which also part of the internal finishing now we'll talk about how we'll calculate the external finishing work with the CMS software if you click on the external finishing CMS will direct us for the external finishing page we'll find here also the upper button related to the how to traveling through CMS pages this button is to how to traveling through the external finishing types first step you have to insert the finishing types for the external finishing here the same as we did before in the internal finishing and the partition and the block and whatever we have first to present all the finishing types which inside our project specification to CMS how we'll do this one we'll enter here only all the finishing types we'll start here with the background of the walls because the external finishing here in the same is it's considering only the walls the other external finishing it will be for the external work in CMS and later we'll see how to insert all this in CMS we're concentrating now on the walls only for for external finishing so we have the background for this wall either it will be a plaster or foot plaster or another type of plaster as we discussed before we have also a cladding we can make a external cladding for the walls and we have a fine finishing which can be any kind of paint so we identify here or we all will present here all the types of the background or cladding or fine finishes and paints that's the first step to identify or to present or our type of finishing next step is to choose the finishing type for each space as we did before plaster and uh, we have some spaces with plaster and uh, paints so we'll identify it separately we have another spaces with the another with the cladding or another type of paints or another type of stone or grc or whatever we'll identify it one by one in each type so we have to choose the finishing type for each space then we'll insert the location and sizes of units sharing the same type of finishing that means any areas or any location have the same type of finishing for the external work we'll add it here in one table together but we cannot mix with another types if you have an area with plaster and the jota shield acrylic paint we have to area we have to add these areas only in this table if you have another area with a stone or another uh, type like GRC or stone or whatever we'll add it in another table how to do this one by very easy way if we are talking about finishing of paint that means we have a background of plaster if it is there according to the specification so we'll choose first the background then we'll choose the type of paint which is here Jota Shield acrylic or whatever then we'll add here the length and the height of each according to the project elevation so according to our design we'll see the elevation what is the type of the finishing for each part we'll take it one by one we'll go for E1 which is plaster and paint so we'll add it here 
E2, E3, E4, whatever we have from the finishing type, we'll take it directly and insert it. For the different type of the external finishing, you can add it directly in the description. You will choose it later for each table as we inform it before. We can also add the locations here for our reference if we need to come back again to check or to change we had by easy way we'll come back we'll enter here the length and the height for each piece and or for each item and the repetition if there is any repetition for this also if we have in the elevation like a pass of like a project facade or whatever any kind of opening you will enter here the opening by areas only the same will do for all type of finishing in the project at the end the, at the end cms will give us the areas for each type of the project external finishing that's the way by by very easy way to enter any type of finishing only the same same as will calculate all together and will separate all kinds of finishing separately and will give you that the area or the quantity directly that's how to insert the external finishing work in CMS. Let's talk now about the other types of the finishing which can be inserted by very easy way in CMS. Here we are talking about the waterproofing, then we'll talk about how to insert the handrails and the cabinet and the landscape. If you click in the waterproofing work, we'll find it here. It's divided for four categories. First one is the substructure work. Second is waterproofing for manhole and trenches and boundary wall. Then the waterproofing for the wet areas and seal it. Then the waterproof work for the roof. First, let's talk about the substructure work waterproof. We'll find here the main waterproofing for the substructure, which is waterproofing under foundation, and the quantities will come for you automatically. Also, for the substructure waterproof, which above the foundations after you casting the foundation till the Till to reach for the tie beam, also it will come to you automatically. Also, the waterproofing work for the water tanks, which will come to you automatically. Also, all this will come automatically because you have a previous quantity surveying for all substructure work, which allows him to make all the quantity surveying for the waterproof accordingly. Meanwhile, if you have any kind of a change, suppose you don't have a waterproof below the foundation, you can modify or remove as. The same also for the other substructure. If you have additional or omission from this quantities, you can also modify. Plus, you will add any other types of waterproof related to the substructure along with its quantities. Next is the waterproofing for the manhole and trenches and boundary wall. Normally, in our project, we have a kind of trenches and manhole which will be executed in another period of the project not in the same time for executing of the substructure waterproofing so it is divided here according to this so it's divided here because of this reason can add here any type of trenches and manhole along with its quantities and of course its units you will get the quantities directly from your drawings with the same way we mentioned before how you will get the areas and the quantities from the autocad with using the using the polyline method by very easy way you will calculate it and insert it here you will find here the boundary wall the quantity will come to you automatically because same as calculate the required waterproofing depending on the quantities of the substructure concrete for the wet area and ceiling you will add here all the description for the waterproofing related to the kitchen and bathroom and uh, along with its quantities and the units the same for the roof you will add here all the description for the roof the roofing either roof or terrace or balconies or whatever you will add it here along with its quantities accordingly cms will use all these quantities and data for all other project aspects we'll go back for the finishing work and let's click on the handrails work cms will give you the table of the handrails you will modify here according to your project specification for the handrails so all the types of handrails you have in your project you will enter insert it here and you will put here all the quantities with the linear meter according to your project quantities 
and you will take the quantities directly from the AutoCAD for example if you have a handrail here in this either to take the dimension or you can make a polyline and choose it and give order of list same as give you gives you the length of four meters so you will count the numbers of this handrail and at the end you will calculate the total area the total length of this type of handrail and by easy way you will insert it here the same will do for any type of handrail and insert the quantity in this column same as we'll, we'll use all this information later in the POQ and in the cost estimation and all the other aspects like scheduling and the project management and the cost control as we will see later second one is the cabinets work also when you click in the cabinets work in the finishing same as will direct you for the other some types of the cabinet you will modify and insert or any type of cabinet you required in your project and the same also will insert the quantity with the same with the same way of the calculation then you will add the quantities here directly from AutoCAD as we mentioned before you go back also for the finishing and they click on the next one which is the landscape if you have CMS will direct you to the external works and landscape by very easy way also you will add here all the types of the external work and landscape required in your project and you will insert also the quantities according to the AutoCAD you have also to calculate the quantities from AutoCAD and insert it here and will be considered in the cost estimation and other aspects of the project so after finishing the landscape we'll go directly for the boundary wall to complete the finishing work which is related to the civil work CMS will direct us for this page of the boundary wall which is part of the cost breakdown but now we'll, ca we'll concentrate only for how to insert the data required to calculate the quantity surveying of the boundary wall and how to it will be reflected in the cost estimation later when we talk about the cost estimation what we need to do now in CMS regarding the boundary walls is to insert the length the length of the boundary wall CMS is considering the boundary wall now is a uniform boundary wall have the same design and same height if there is a changes between elevation and other elevation we will see now how this will be reflected and calculated here in CMS but initially you will insert here the length of the boundary wall the height of the boundary wall the spaces between each columns and the other this data is very important according to this data the CMS will calculate all the required structure and block work according to this inserted data CMS will calculate all the required concrete work as a structure and the block work and the plaster and the other finishing but as I told CMS is considering the boundary wall as a uniform and they will calculate all this as the boundary wall have the same shape in, in all sides so according to this lens and the height and spacing between the columns especially the spaces between the columns CMS will calculate the numbers of foundations and the, and the length of the tie beam and the numbers of the columns and the coping beam lens and of course the quantity and the area of the block work either it's a solid block in the substructure or a normal hollow block there same way CMS will calculate the plaster for the boundary wall from the both sides as I said this is the normal type of the boundary wall in case the boundary will have some other shapes or another design in the sizes in this case you have to add the changes directly if you have a changing the structure you have to add it here either the number or the dimension of the foundation tie beam and column and coping beam whatever if you have a changing in the block work you have to add it here if you have a changing in the plaster work you have to add it here insert any opening if you have if you have a change in the paints or cladding you have to add it here in this table you will choose also the type of the paint according to boundary wall paint you can choose also the type of the cladding according to your boundary wall cladding and you'll add here the gates costs this all to calculate the quantities of the boundary wall 
after this you will see how CMS will use all these materials and all these quantities to make all the cost estimation and use this for all the project aspects we'll go for the material takeoff for all the project civil items we have here this material takeoff we'll make we'll go for step one click to run then step two for rendering same as telling you that step one is done and go for step two we'll tell him okay and go for step two his telling CMS will start renting, rendering now the material takeoff to continue please click okay and wait now CMS is starting to rendering the material takeoff CMS completed material takeoff rendering okay now we have the material takeoff all the quantities of the rebar for all the items with all diameter the total quantity of the rebar this margin as we informed before we already entered before as a 30% if you need to change here in any item you can change it here to give you the exact amount of the rebar you will use for each item if you need to change here is the concrete quantities that's all the item of the concrete we have same as give us the quantities of the plain concrete which used in the PCC the enforcement concrete which used for all the items of the of the construction that's the total quantity of the concrete plus CMS gave us the amount and the quantities of the shutters and timber work used in the concrete here there is one input you have to enter for CMS or to modify in CMS you have to tell the CMS what is the consumption if you are using a timber shutter and this timber shutter you have a margin like 10% or 20% for each floor that means each floor you have to compensate the quantity of the uh, shutters by 10% according to your site requirement you can also assume in the beginning 10 to 20% as a compensation you have to add each uh, floor according to this ratio and according to your project sequence as we'll see later CMS will give you the actual quantities of the timber and also CMS will give you the actual consumption ratio for your timber these items or this information CMS will use it later in the cost estimation as we'll see in the next videos related to the cost estimation because normally when you are purchase a material maybe you will not use it totally for this project CMS consider this he will give you the actual consumption ratio for your materials I'm talking about the timber shutters material to give a proper calculation for your cost estimation accordingly CMS will give you the approximate material of the shutter which is which is required to be purchased during the project execution also CMS will give you the material takeoff related to the block work all the types of the block which are required for the for the project that is the area of the block that is the quantities of the block for each type black sand which will use if you are going to use a mix on site mortar and the washed sand also which we are using in the mix on site mortar and the cement which you are using when you are go for mix on site mortar plus the material of the ready mortar according to your input when you are inserting the data in the block work on the masonry work sheets and the waters here per gallon which you require to be used during your construction of the block work the same will be for the plaster work CMS will give you the, the types of the plaster you will use the areas also the material as we inform it now and of course the finishing work all the type of finishing all the quantities of each type of finishing the material which required to execute this types of finishing either this will flooring or skirting or walls or whatever we need materials like black sand, washed sand, cement or ready mortar according to your input as we inform it now and the water also which is required for execute all these finishing items the same for the border, the same for internal walls and here is the total for the several materials which is required plus of course the finishing items or the finishing tiles which is required for the for execute all the finishings of the project Till here, we finished all the civil quantity surveying works by using CMS.
we learned already how to insert all the data and what is the output we will get after this related to the civil works further to the material takeoff which CMS will present as a direct output from the quantity surveying CMS will give you the bill of quantity for the project if you go for the bill of quantity you will find now here is full bill of quantity for the project have the general items which have all the divisions of the construction general site work concrete work masonry work metal work thermal work carpentry work finishing work specialist and the MAB which is fire and electrical and mechanical and conveyors which we will see how it will be inserted to the CMS later but for an idea about the bill of quantity you will find all the divisions required in the construction we will start with the step one and step two and they will give you a ready bill of quantity like this have the site work the earth work excavation and backfilling and termite all the description and the quantities here the concrete work all the description and the quantities for the concrete for the concrete work for the substructure and the details of the items here is the quantity the full quantity of the concrete here is the the quantities of the repair quantities of the shutters the same for the superstructure quantity of the concrete quantity of the repairs description of the element and the quantities of the repair post tension if you have and also shutters of the superstructure work the same for masonry work full bill of quantity for the work and the thermal work here you have the bill of quantity for all the descriptions as we inserted before if you remember here is also the finishing the rough finishing which is the plaster work rough flooring all the tiles and the quantities the fine flooring skirting all the description and the quantities marble and soft skirting thresholds all cladding and so on all the items of the construction projects will be reflected here in the bill of quantity like this we already finished all the civil work quantity surveying by CMS we saw how to insert all the data and how we'll get all the information and how to get all the outputs by CMS directly like the material takeoff and the bill of quantity next we'll go through how to make a quantity surveying for the MAB after this all the quantity surveying will be finished by CMS then we'll jump for the cost estimation later see you soon thank you for watching goodbye